everyone to game two of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs on EA Sports. We're at the Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento. Tonight, it's the Sacramento Kings taking on the Portland Trailblazers. With Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Kings as they come into play. They were winners in game one. That's critical to get that first one in a five-game series. And the important thing to remember here is that this is not a seven-game series. We're only going five. So you've got to bring it each and every night and play like your season depends on it. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. McCollum. Almost unlucky bounce. End to end on that one. 94 feet for the basket. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Knocked loose. C.J. McCollum pins it. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by a blazer. To Bagley. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the play. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. The free throw, perfect. And the lead is up to seven. It's Lillard for two. Knocks it down from mid-range. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. And counted at the rim. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Portland's got it. Lillard to McCollum. Oh, out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. That's out. Last touch by Jared Allen. McCollum into the front court. They trail by seven. Great feed. D has got it. Damian Lillard, two for two. That's what you want. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Cruises inside for two. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. To McCollum. Beyond the arc for three. His first effort off the mark. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. And count the basket. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Portland has the ball. McCollum. And the reward? A couple of shots at the line. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. First free throw. He 
missed a pair of free throws. The jab step opens up space to knock down the jumper. No doubt about where that one was headed. We'll get a stoppage here. Timeout Portland as we'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Time for some new personnel into the game. It's a turnover as they head the other way. And scores. And that is the sign of an unselfish team. When everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer, somebody willing to make other players on his team look great, that's only going to force your players to play that much harder on offense and give you more energy on the defensive end. Damian Lillard. D has got it. Damian Lillard. Three for three. That's a perfect start. These breakdowns happen because a team lacks communication. You have to point towards your man, keep that butt towards the baseline, and make sure you communicate through every screen. Count it. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. It's Portland ball. McCollum to Lillard. Throws it down. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the game. Fox across the timeline. Counting down towards a minute to play here in a very tight opening quarter. And finishes strong. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. To McCollum. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Much needed bucket right there with the three. This game, long way to go. They're back within 10. Ah, this isn't going to be a rollover game. That's the kind of facial expressions you need from somebody who's ready to fight. Shot misses there by Allen. Nothing going here on that drive to Nurkic. Shot from the lane won't go. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like the mere presence of him in the paint was enough to throw off the concentration of the guy trying to drop the layup in. Yusuf Nurkic has got two shots coming. Numbers not in his favor. 61% for his career. Can't connect on the first free throw. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. We've reached the end of the first quarter here in game number two. Jay and I back with more after this. This is the first round of the West Playoffs on EA Sports. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with...
We get things started here in the second quarter. Into the front court, it's Fox. The lead is 11. Off the penetration, almost, but no good. To Lillard. Has a look. Deep two there, won't go. And you hate this. Knock loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. It's the Kings now with the ball. And scores. Strong take. It's almost like he had the defender on a string, and he's the puppet master. <laughs> Knock loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. To the rim, lays it up and in. Because in certain players' mind, it doesn't matter if they're amongst the trees or not. They're always going to be the giant in the paint. Knock loose. McCollum with the basketball. Under a minute to go before halftime. Send it away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. McCollum. 4-3. That's corralled by Bagley. And count the basket inside. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot in. McCollum into the front court. Nine point margin. Return label included. Offense might want to adjust here. That's his fourth block of the evening. Count the basket at the rim. Late heave to beat the buzzer. We've reached halftime here in game two. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. Thanks, fellas. Jalen here with your halftime report. The Kings worked hard for their halftime lead. It doesn't take much more of these highlights to see why they've been successful. And I get a sense that won't change much after halftime. These are the guys getting buckets for the Sacramento. The Trailblazers are in need of some changes at the half. They've been scrappy, doing their best to be competitive. We'll see if their efforts are more rewarded in the second half. These are the guys getting buckets for the Portland Trailblazers. First half stats. Player of the half. I'm ready to skip ahead and just get this guy player of the game. You can tell he's on his way to a special game. Uh. Who was cold? Forget cold. This guy... We'll be happy to be lukewarm at this point. He can't seem to get anything going. And when you see these highlights, it's obvious how they've been successful. Things are looking up for them in the second half.
Have a look at the leading scores for Feller. Back to you. First half, very one-sided. What will the second half bring? We'll find out as we're underway. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Lillard for two. Yes, it drops. A little drama on that one. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. To McCollum. C.J. McCollum. Three for six now. And the last ten sequences down the court, everybody's touched the ball. You don't see anybody with any kind of negative expressions on their face because everybody's eaten. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Jared Allen able to recover with the block. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. McCollum. Lillard buries it on the catch and shoot. Oh, I like what you're doing right now. It looks like you're running some DHOs into PNRs. That's dribble handoffs into pick and rolls. You keep running that action, you're constantly going to keep the defense guessing. Has a chance. Got a tough shot. Hand in his face. He makes them pay. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. McCollum with the basketball. The deficit now up to a dozen. Lillard. <laughs> to McCollum. <laughs> C.J. McCollum. Four out of seven. I don't know what the point of you having a scouting report is if you don't utilize it. You're allowing him to get to positions on the floor where you know he feels most comfortable. Make it a challenge for him by making him do something uncomfortable. All by himself. Creates his own shot there. Here's lesson number one. When you allow a player like that the freedom of space to dance with the ball, there's no telling what kind of break dance move they might hit you with. McCollum. Short jumper won't go down. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Barnes. Harrison Barnes. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. You see the great playmakers see the shot before it ever happens. They recognize how they were being guarded on the previous set, and then they make the necessary adjustments. Dane rises. Offensive board. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Cash is in for two. Now the Blazers will use a timeout as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. New blood coming in for both sides. Lillard to McCollum.
Phil Let's Lillard. Shot by Lillard, no good. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battles as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Trailblazers take over, and they call it. He took a chance. That's the right call. that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. C.J. McCollum. C.J. McCollum. With that, he's five for nine. Here's a tip for your defense. You can't give him that much space. You have to push up into his personal space and make him play the majority of the possessions with his back to the basket. Because if you allow him to open up, there's no stopping. Off the assist. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Nice finish at the rim. Let me tell you something that nobody will ever talk about. Did you see him slow down right before he was about to go up? That slow change of speed, that slight change was just enough to throw the defender off. And the basket good at the rim. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Trailblazers with the basketball to McCollum. Screen coming. McCollum to Lillard. Work it down to Nurkic. Nurkic rocking the rim. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. And he finishes at the rim. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter, and the Kings right... situation other than give it your best shot and players don't like to hear this ed but the reality of the matter is this is a character building opportunity yes you may lose this game but that does not mean that you do not fight each and every possession now ready to shoot at the line just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle play right all the way through damian lillard a couple of free throws on the way he's perfect from the line so far Misses the first. Second one's good. Splits the pair. Fox with it. His guy's up by 15. Bogdanovich, defended by Yusuf Nurkic. Drives, but a shot won't go down. To Nurkic. Oh, Yusuf Nurkic. Quiet night, but two for three in the contest right now. Well, he finished strong because he was able to initiate the contact. When you initiate the contact first, you bounce off the defender, which balances you at the rim. to Fox trying to cash in shot by Fox no good you know Ed everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense when you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure you know you're in a safe place no good defense catching a break there
to Fox. Has a look. Shot by Fox off the mark. To Lillard. To Nurkic. Oh, Yusuf Nurkic. He's three of five. 60% shooting from the field. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. like both teams are making substitutions. Got it. Just a ball handling wizard still putting people under his spell. Mm. Portland's got it. And they call it a simple touch foul. Snatching it out of the air. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Layup's good. That's as high percentage as it gets. Sometimes you hear people give all these fancy breakdowns, tell you all these different things they can do. That was just plain old simple bully basketball. Muscled his way through the lane. McCollum to Lillard. Shot by Lillard, no good. To Heald. Knocks it down from mid-range. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. It's good, and one. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. C.J. McCollum at the line for a chance at a three point A career 84% free throw shooter. Missed it at the line. Finishing inside the paint on that one. With handles like that, you get into the hoop at will. Knock loose. Portland has the ball. That's going to be out of bounds. Knock loose. McCollum to Lillard. Short jumper won't fall. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. 
Rebound cleared by Bagley. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, this team has been mentally engaged. I know the season's a long year, but when you come mentally engaged and you have attention to detail, whoop, that's a scary thing to watch. To Lillard. Slams it down. He's been a one-man show, but Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star, their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. And draws the foul. I can't believe I'm about to say this about an NBA team because this is what I say to my grammar school team. But just because a team is down on the scoreboard doesn't mean you stop playing hard and smart. You really have nothing to lose but really good habits to gain. First free throw is good. Able to convert on both free throws. To Nurkic. Oh, he had him there for a second. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. A strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Kings with the ball. The jab step opens up space to knock down the jumper. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. down Broadway for the two. Defender has to pick him up. Jared Allen rejects it. It's the Kings who get the victory. They'll take a command. Games to none lead into game three of this five game series. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post game wrap up. The Kings. Put one in the win column with a solid performance. Sometimes a team can hurt itself by being too aggressive on defense. And sometimes a team can guarantee itself a win by using defensive aggression in a focused way, like we saw here today. Player of the game. When you see these highlights, it's easy to see how this guy earned the award. His impact on the game wasn't lost on anyone. Here's our top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. Of the game. If you asked him, I'm sure he'd give the credit to his teammate and coaches. But at the end of the day, we know that he's the one that made the biggest impact on this game.